70% of American adults are now at least partially vaccinated against the coronavirus. Today's milestone coming nearly a month after President Biden's July 4th goal. Still, no time for celebration, though, as COVID-19 cases soar across the country. Hospitalizations have tripled since last month, mostly because of the highly contagious Delta variant and people who are still refusing to get vaccinated. CBS 46's Ashley Thompson is live at the Southside Medical Center where officials address that surge today. Ashley, what did they say? Tracy, Atlanta Mayor Keisha Lance Bottom says the city will continue to do what it's been doing, and that is sounding the alarm. But it's not just here in Atlanta that's of concern. Counties across Georgia in an uphill battle right now. COVID trends not headed in the right direction. The surge alarming healthcare providers across Georgia. Doctors gathered outside the Northeast Georgia Medical Center in Gainesville to call attention to what they're seeing. 85% of the COVID positive patients in the hospitals are not vaccinated. In Hall County, a nearly 12% positivity rate. The number of COVID positive patients in Northeast Georgia Medical Center's hospitals has jumped from 20 to 110. The most we have had since February. With many still hesitant to get vaccinated, providers are stressing the need for it while combating misinformation. Getting vaccinated will not guarantee you that you won't get COVID. But the key thing is, is that getting vaccinated dramatically protects you um, against uh, severe infection, reducing the chance that you will die from COVID or be hospitalized from COVID. In Atlanta, a similar message. It's very tough when we are trying to get back to business as usual. Uh, and people are still vaccine hesitant. Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms joined by Health and Human Services Secretary Javier Becerra to discuss all things health care. I can't tell you the, the, the depth of frustration that Americans are feeling who've done everything they can. They've done it right. To know that now we've got to go back to wearing masks. Atlanta took a step back last week, reverting to phase three of its reopening plan. Masks are once again required indoors and capacity is limited at food and retail establishments. How long restrictions will be needed is unclear. The longer we let this virus survive, it mutates. And we want to do everything we can to stop it from mutating into something that we don't yet have a vaccine to stop. And the CDC says the Delta variant is as transmissible as chickenpox. And right now, it accounts for 80% of COVID cases. Live in Atlanta, I'm Ashley Thompson, CBS 46 News.